I've been, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. Did you fail to dress up for tonight's show? No tie, an old shirt and slacks, a house dress? Well, don't give it a thought. We're glad you came as you are. We just want you to enjoy yourselves. The Myers home is modestly furnished, and their late model family car was bought on time. They are very close to the Levittown norm, except in one respect. William Myers, Jr. and his family are Negroes in an all-white community. Levittown reacted in a number of ways to the new arrivals. There were several hundred who congregated on the street in front of the Myers house. And there were those among them who felt strongly enough to throw a rock through the picture window. Do you think a Negro family moving here will affect the community as a whole? Definitely. In what way? I think that, well, the property values will immediately go down if uh, they are allowed to move in here in any number. Can you give a basis for that judgment? Yes, we used to live in Washington, D.C., and we saw a very good example of that there. What other objections, aside from the effect on property values, do you have against the Myers? The whole thing centers around the word integration. One home, as Mr. Myers said, because his home has been anything but peaceful since he moved in. He's got three children, and uh, evidently he feels that they will be accepted socially. And uh, I don't feel that they ever will be. But the whole trouble with this integration business is that uh, in the end, it probably will end up with, with mixing socially. And you will have, well, I think their aim is mixed marriages and becoming equal with the whites. But the only way they're going to do that is by education and by bettering themselves, not by pushing in the way they have here. Do you intend to move? At the time, no. It's a pretty impossible situation. We have, uh, we have our home here, and if the colored move in and run real estate values down, there are a lot of us, the GIs particularly, who are going to be more or less with their homes. But there are others who are for the Myers? Yes, I've heard about them. For what reason, do you think, do they support the Myers? Frankly, I don't know what reasons they can have for it. What course of action are you going to follow? I'll do what I can uh, to help to, to get them out legally and peacefully. And as far as accepting them socially, if that's what you mean, I could never do that. How do you feel about the Myers moving in? Well, I'm very definitely against it. Before coming to Levittown, did you have any contact with Negroes? Well, I came from a small town where we didn't have any colored people. And at that time, I had, uh, well, I'd had no feelings either way. So while we were waiting for our house to be built, we lived in Trenton for nine months. And, uh, well, that was my first contact with them, both in work and going through colored sections to work. And I was very happy I was moving into an all-white community. Do you think other Negro families will come to Levittown? Definitely. Yes. What do you think will happen? Well, uh, just what's happening already. I don't know. It's a rumor I read in the paper where they have two colored uh, school teachers now in Levittown. So that's just a good example of what is going to happen. Well, what's wrong with that? I do not like it. I, I have uh, two daughters and two sons. And if there's too many colored people around here, I definitely will get out. I'm not thinking much. I don't want her associating with colored people, period. Well, I'm very definitely against mixed marriages, and that's eventually what it's going to come to. If children are raised together, they're not going to think of anything of marrying together. Well, I just could not live beside them. I don't feel that they should be oppressed. But I moved here, one of the main reasons was because it was a white community. 
And that's the only place I intend to live. If I have to leave Levittown, I will do so. For some Levittowners, the basic issues involved had nothing to do with intermarriage or property values, loss of status, fear of crime, neighborhood decline, or of being in the minority. They saw it as a test of democracy. Be human, animals can cry. Be human, it's easy if you try. Don't go around with a heart of stone, or you'll be sorry and all alone. Be human, have a tender word for every Oh, mm -hmm. 